Hello friends of John Knox Ranch, my name is Mariana, I'm a counselor and I'm going to be demonstrating in this video how to make a stripes friendship bracelet. Alright, so let me start by giving you a close up of the bracelet that I've made right here. This bracelet I made using only four strings and that's the minimum that you're going to need to make this type of bracelet. You can do as many more than that as you want though. So I've gone ahead and cut some string. Uh, the rule that we use for cutting string is that you generally want to cut it the length of your arm. If you feel like that won't be long enough, you can extend it out to your next shoulder or even to the length of your, both your arms. And I've just tied a little knot at the top. Um, that's going to be important because it, we're going to use it to catch the knots that we tie going forward. Now, uh, you can also see that I've taped it to the table. I would definitely recommend attaching it to some sort of surface because you're going to want to be able to pull on the strings just a little bit like I'm doing here without uh, pulling the bracelet away from you. So you can see that I've kind of separated my strings like this. I chose rainbow order because that seems easy. You can do whatever you want, but you do want to remember the order that you choose because you're going to stick to that order for the rest of the bracelet. So I'm going to start with my orange string and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the line and tie it around each other string and then once it gets to this side I'll leave it here and start with the yellow. So let me show you how I do that. First, I think knot tying is going to be covered in a different video, but briefly I'll show you. We're going to use that number four knot. So if you can see how that looks like a number four, you do that uh, holding your, the string that you're tying around straight and tuck the end of the string that you're tying with through and then just gently pull it up to the top. Now you don't want to tighten your knots until you get to the very top because we want them all to rest against each other and you can just do it gently. It's not going to fall apart. So if you saw I tied two knots and you're going to tie two knots for everything that you tie. Now I'm going to move on to my green string which is next in the pattern. My goodness. And I'm going to do two knots again. And every time I'm holding the string that I'm tying around straight just like a post and I'm using the orange one to tie that knot. So the orange string is doing all the work. So my bracelet's twisting out of control, but if you can see, I've now moved on, like I said, to the blue string. And now that I've made it to the end, I'm just gonna leave the orange string here and keep going in this order. So we're always gonna move left to right for stripes. Unless, I mean, maybe you want to move right to left, you just need to stick to the same direction the whole time. So next I'm going to do my yellow string, and I'm going to do exactly what I did with my orange string, except for now my yellow string is doing all the work, and my other strings are going to act as those sort of straight posts. So I tie two knots around each string, and I need to stick to the order that I chose. So I did orange, yellow, green, blue, and now that the yellow is going, the orange is obviously on the other side, but I'm still going in that same order of yellow, green, blue. And then, now that I've gotten to my orange string, I'm going to tie the yellow around the orange. Now at the top of your bracelet, it's probably going to look a little bit clumpy, and that is totally okay. Your stripes will sort of sort themselves out and it'll feel neater as you get further along in your bracelet, but the top of the bracelet is always going to look like a little bit of a mess. So now you can see where we're at. The orange and the yellow string have both moved off to the right and we're just going to keep moving from the left to the right tying the strings in the same order. So my green string is in charge now. And you got to remember to do two knots every time when I started tying bracelets. I, that was the thing I always forgot. My bracelet's kind of flipping over, so hopefully you all can still see. You will do a better job attaching your bracelet to the table than <laughs> I'm doing right now. So, tied it around the orange. Now lastly, tie the green around the yellow. And then I will show you the magical thing that will happen. 
is now you can see only the blue string is on the left. So as you can imagine, when I bring this blue string over to the right, my original order of orange, yellow, green, blue will return, be restored. So let me try to do this quickly, except for it's kind of a mess. Doing two around each string. And there you go, I've completed my pattern once. And you can see now that I've tied some of those stripes, my strings are pretty willing to just stay in that order that I put them in. So from this point out, you probably won't have to work to keep your strings in the order. It'll just, they'll kind of fall that way. And then you're just gonna repeat what you just did until your bracelet is the length that you want it. You should probably make it longer than the one that I made. I didn't cut my string long enough. But, you know, you can always measure the wrist of the person that you did, or if you have lots of extra string, you know, you can turn this into a braid, and it'll still look nice to tie around someone's wrist. And there you have it. That's how you make a stripes friendship bracelet.